Hey guys, I want to do a deal of explain a little bit more um, the taping process, especially. I think it makes such a big difference. So doing the Emperor figure two, man, it's pretty cool one to kind of mess with, you know, or show. Just golly, what a gorgeous bird. So I'm gonna get the tape kind of um, laid out, I guess, and then kind of show that, and then I'll just do this wing here just to kind of show uh, just the main th the main things I've carved off, and then that way, like I said, it's pretty much well, it is the same principle for for all the birds. This one will be great because you actually be able to see everything a little bit better visually since there's so much uh, scalloping on the feathers. So. Anyway, let me get that laid out, and then I'll show that, and then I'll start rocking and rolling here. Alright, so here's a little, like, seat. Normally on the tape, like, three-day masking, and then I'll try to press against your shirt or something with fabric. So, basically, you have, let's see. So, you have primary, primary, secondary, secondary, tail, tail, and then this going over the well they're greater coverts but it's these feathers right here so that way they line up and then that way uh, once you put the carding and stuff on so anyway I do those get them nice and uh, kind of unsticky to a degree I've used a painter's tape before the blue stuff I know people that use it um, I don't know to me it's just so unsticky that I actually have problems with the feathers actually sticking to it and so it's almost like I'd rather have something a little stickier and then make it ultimately make it more sticky than the blue tape but the blue tape as soon as you take it off that painters real you know delicate stuff is you can't make it any stickier so if the feathers if you're trying to actually hold something in place again my experience um, it doesn't really hold stuff in place that well if you actually need to kinda you know have some hold so anyway let me get this uh, well, I guess we can go ahead and start it. What difference does it make? All right, so primary, we'll do, um, I already have the wire underneath, already shaped and all that good stuff. So I'm just trying to run it where it goes up all the primaries. And then I'll have a little uh, piece of cardboard here in a minute. And that kind of will make sure they stretch out because the primaries have a tendency to kind of bunch. And you don't want them to bunch. You want them to be nice and straight, crisp. So what I'll do is get them all in place here. So get all the, just worry about the primaries at this point. A little bit of extra tape there. And then take a, you know, very sticky piece. Just put it over the other, you can kind of see it and put it over the other one and then I've cut two pieces of cardboard strips and then that'll allow me to like I said attach attach this kind of press that down and then you can kind of see and then that straightens it out keeps it nice and straight you know good to go then for the secondary so like I said, I'll press it up against uh, my shirt or fabric, take some of that stick away, get that going here. So start the primary. So then I'll just kind of work it. Basically, I, I try to, and I've been painting so my nails look like they're all, um, I try to get it where the quill, the quill of the next feather or the feather is covered because you don't want the quill so it's like you know like you can see the quill here try to get that feather you know lined up once I get to a certain point so like on these on the scaps I just kinda get it to a point where um, this the back end is good obviously the front end I'll have to do a little bit more um, geese is kind of a little bit harder because it's a little bit harder to grab the uh, the wing feathers necessarily say than like ducks but you can see it's kind of trying to bunch down but we'll get that 
we'll get that all figured out here in just a second. Like I said, geese are kind of a little different just because their wings are so big. Um, we want to get the primaries nice line going and all that. Kind of get stuff in, in order. So all the feathers are nice and good to go there. Just kind of press my way up. So this little bunch at the end won't be a problem. I'll probably actually tape them when I run the secondaries for this wing. You can just tape them together. Let's say you just want, it's the same principle as the cardboard. You just want it to be, uh, you know, everything flat and straight as possible because that's how they are when they're, you know, flying around. So then I'll do the coverts here. This is another important one. I think, I can't remember, I think I did it on a redhead, so it's kind of like pointless, but these are super, super important because uh, puddle ducks, any of these birds really, um, and you could also put a pin to like this. I'm just going to do this so I can, here in a minute, I'm going to tape these two together, kind of like a placeholder. But like on this, you know, you'll go through, move the feathers. Like I said, this is not as big of an issue right now, but you just want to make sure that they're all layered the same way. So it's like, this is on top of this one, on top of this one, just same as these on top, on top. So then I'll just go through, you know, here's a feather that's kind of caught up in the other one, get him out. So then I just want to get him basically out from underneath the secondaries. That way, once I do the tape, uh, when I press down on it, nothing is uh, bound up. So same thing here. Like I said, this this level this layer is more just to do after after these. But so then on a duck, I would normally do put my hand, create a little bit of a pressure so it lays down. Once I get everything out from underneath the secondaries all right so get these nice and lined up just work my way up the wing so everything is pretty pretty so then now you have a nice pretty line I just want to take that Kind of press just to make sure that it's you know laying because these want to have a tendency to you know move up so that's that's basically it and then um, I think I've shown before the carding thing with the uh, the hair clips I just wanted to mainly show um, like I said if it's if it's bunching here where the primaries meet the secondaries that's normally on like larger wing birds or if you're in a position you can normally get these together or just put a pin so the tape goes. Um, I'm going to take the pin out and tape it just so that way it's not going down. That's coming straight. That way the scaps lay real nice. And uh, and then obviously a lot of these are, are preened and looking good. Um, so then what I'll do is just like we were doing there, just make sure all the feathers um, you know just the same thing just go through because only it happens like with turkeys it happens with um, there's a few birds that have uh, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head there's not a lot of ducks that actually have such intricate feathers um, like this one does well there's not a lot of birds in general that do like this but um, you know main thing is just have them all layer layered the same way make a nice line and then that way it just makes such a big difference on uh, the overall look because once you start getting lines up you know up, you know one two three up the wing and then once it's carded and flat it looks great so anyway I just want to show that because you know it's rinse and repeat on the other side uh, top side uh, you know tail is the same kind of way it's just two parts clear that out 
you know, one by one, bottom part, you know, get them, ugh, get them cleared out, and then uh, got the head and everything else um, done a little bit ago, still grooming on that, but it's coming together, and that's about it. Like I said, other than the carding, which, you know, we've done that before, but I want to do a little bit more detail on the tape job because that's such an important uh, important deal, especially like the carding on the, the primaries. That makes such a big difference on keeping it flat and keeping it crisp because when you look at it straight on, just like when they're flying, it should be relatively flat, just like it would be in real life. And um, and then once, I, once it's carded as well, that'll kind of push this little area back down too. So, and then I'll just kind of continue to groom the feathers. Most of these are on top of you know the right one, but I'll go through and just move them around. And uh, but like you can see, everything's lined up nice. And that's it. So I do the same on the other wing and uh, go through and groom as normal. So cool bird. Definitely a very, very cool bird. Very pretty. So it's been a, uh, it's been a cool, one, cool one to do. Poured the head earlier. I think in the video before you saw that. So that was really neat. Got that poured and and uh, done a little while ago. So anyway, thanks guys. Any questions, let me know.